The following segment is sponsored by Birmingham Waterworks. We know just because it's almost fall, those Alabama temperatures don't quite care yet. So the heat has a few more weeks. This morning, we're hearing about a campaign to make sure all of us stay hydrated, especially those of us, maybe younger folks who are out in the heat doing those fall sports. Rick Jackson with the Birmingham Waterworks Board joins us now. Rick, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Of course. So you got the cooler, you got the towels. Yes. It looks like we're ready for a workout. We're Hey, it's a workout with our, our youth out on the football fields this mm -hmm. fall. You know, it is that time, I'm sure, that we all enjoyed college football last weekend and the weekend before that. And so that means that high school sports are back into session and we wanna make sure that our students are hydrated. So that's what Waterworks Waterboy is all about. Waterboy, yes, an important campaign. We were just talking about how brutal this summer has been. It has been a hot summer. It's been so <laughs> hot and we know those temperatures are sticking around and the athletes, you can see right here, they are on the field, yes. they're doing really well, um, but they need to make sure they are hydrating. So what is Waterboy all about. All right, so Waterworks Waterboard, we're actually in our ninth year of this initiative, and it's basically making sure that our athletes, our student athletes, and our young uh, teams are staying hydrated on and off the field. You know, Alabama, we produce some of the greatest athletes around the world, and so the bar is very high. So our children, they're out there going very hard, and we want to make sure that they're staying hydrated. Um, a number of heat-related illnesses happen among our youth, and um, it's important that that we hold these teams accountable, our coaches making sure that our, our kids are staying uh, hydrated, fully hydrated on and off the field. And so we are going around to different high schools, uh, talking to bands, we're talking to football players, but this year we've also extended that opportunity to little leagues mm. and, and cheerleading camps. And we just want anybody who's out there being athletic uh, to be a part of this program. That's fabulous. I'm so glad you included. We think about football all the time, and of course, those guys are, are sweating in the pads, and they're hot. They're working hard, but there are so many other sports going on this time of year, too. Yeah, and the band, too. A lot of times, those outfits are like wool. Yes. Um, on yes. Friday nights. Absolutely. And so, um, and then there, there are a lot of signs of dehydration that uh, the kids don't know about and so this program really just opens their eye to those on uh, dehydration signs you know if you're seeing cramps or uh, you're lightheaded and things like that some things that they probably would ignore because mm -hmm. they're focused so much on the the goal of winning that um, is overlooked and so it's our job to make sure that we're playing water boy and uh, we're going out to talk to these groups and making sure that they're doing what they need to do to stay healthy before mm -hmm. winning those games of course and get that vital information so they can hey win more games too <laughs> absolutely and, and you're not gonna play your best if hydrated and you're dragging correct. on the field absolutely and those are those are the the statements we want to do uh, leave with them and so once we visit these uh, athletic teams or cheerleaders or what have you we leave them with a 10 gallon water cooler mm. as a reminder to stay hydrated we also leave them with these really cool sweat towels uh, that you can see here uh, with our logo on it um, and so anybody could participate you know we're asking all of the high school uh, coaches we've already visited several of them um, because a lot of the practices started over the summer oh, yeah um, with the cheerleaders it's just been so much fun to get engaged with them and they get really excited about it and so um, we ask that you just reach out to us at public relations at bwwb.org if you like for us to come and visit your high school team your football team coaches uh, cheerleaders band members even little leagues we're out mm -hmm. talking to a little league later this afternoon and so uh, we're really excited about it and it's great to get that information out even to a, a younger audience for too, sure because a lot of these athletes uh, they're gonna start in yeah maybe fifth grade or so but then a lot of them will continue so if they have the right information about staying hydrated if they have these tips and these signs of dehydration they can kind of keep in mind and that might you know help them avoid those situations throughout the rest of their career for sure I, I'm glad you brought that point up and that's why we wanted to extend this to the younger crowd because mm -hmm. one thing that we've learned from working with children is that you create these habits early on in life and so it's 
just like practice. They always go to practice, and if you teach them early on to, you have to drink water, you have to drink this amount of water early on, they carry that with them in life. And so it's easier to create those habits early on than once you are already, you know, almost an adult, mm -hmm. and you're trying to uh, tell them it's so important to drink water. They're already, you know, kind of stuck with, I'm here to win. And so mm -hmm. uh, the, the message we want to get out is in order to win, winners drink water. Love so, it. Yes, water. of course. So <laughs> when does this initiative end? Uh, and right now we're just kind of wide open. Um, we know that football season just kicked off. And so we're going to go until probably mid season uh, of the football season. And so if anybody is interested in uh, being a part of this program, just please reach out to us. We have plenty of coolers. We have plenty of sweat towels and we want to be out there talking to you and your teammates and making sure they're hydrated. So if there are any parents out there watching right now, so I want to make sure that, you know, Joey and the team are being hydrated. Just reach out to us and we'll be glad to accommodate. Rick, thanks so much for your time. And I have to say, these are quality sweat towels oh, yeah, too. Absolutely. You know, these feel like, yeah, <laughs> that, that nice material. Absolutely, there you go. Yes. yes, Rick, thanks so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you, Catherine. Of course. While we're